What's the excitement all about Deborah? Did you win a lottery ticket? Please stop dancing and tell me what's giving you this bundle of joy. God has done it for me Kate. Finally God has answered my prayers, and has wiped away my reproach. God has given me a reason to testify. I'm so excited. Deborah I can't wait. No more suspend. Just tell me what God did for you. Kate is not one blessing, is not two blessings. Is not three blessings. My cup of blessings overflow with plenty of testimony. I'm counting my blessings naming them one by one. Are you ready to hear these testimonies? I'm all ears. Kate, I'm pregnant. I'm nine weeks now in my first trimester. Soon my baby bump will start showing. In nine months time I will put to birth. I'm overwhelmed with joy. God's so gracious and kind. I know God who has done mine, will do yours too. Kate, you're next in line for a miracle. Deborah is it for real? You are pregnant. Yes. <laughs> and you are looking at a soon breastfeeding mother. I don't know what to say Deborah. Congratulations. It has been three years now, you have not even conceived once. Now you are pregnant. I'm happy for you my friend. This is good news. That's not all the testimony I need to share with you. You mean there is more to share? Please tell me, I want to hear it all. What testimony can be bigger, than hearing you are pregnant? I'm pregnant with twins babies in my womb. For the delay this past three years in my marriage. God has blessed me with two bunches of joy. You see why I am so excited. My goodness. Deborah congratulations again. God is good to you. He didn't give you one baby, but two babies. This is great miracle. I pray I will be able to keep my pregnancy to full nine months. Course I'm always having miscarriages. Don't cry Kate, how about praying at midnight? I believe you will never have miscarriages again. That's why I'm sharing my testimony with you, so you can take advantage of midnight prayers that resulted to my miracle. You can engage in midnight prayers and with faith to stop the miscarriages from happening again. I will give it a try. Good. Why are you still dancing? Do you still have more testimony to share with me? Yes. My husband melt an old friend who works in the oil and gas company. With his connection, he is ensuring my husband gets a job at the oil and gas company. The salary is in thousands of dollars. Kate is goodbye to financial difficulties for me and my husband. I will gladly resign from my job, since they have refused to promote me. Deborah, I'm so happy for you. God just stopped by your house, pouring blessings into your home. This blessings should flow to my home too. It will my friend. Last night, my sister-in-law who lives in UK called my husband. That, it has been in her heart to buy a car for my husband. As the week run by she will pay for the car and ship it to my husband. Kate, this can only be God. It has been celebration for me and my husband all through the night. We kept worshipping and praising God for all these blessings he has poured into our life. It's worth celebrating. I rejoice with you. Deborah you are needed in the conference room? And is there a problem? Why should there be a problem? Please don't keep the boards of directors waiting. Thanks. What's going on here? Deborah, call to go to the conference room. Where the board of directors are having a conference meeting? Let me wait to hear from her. Why she was asked to go to the conference room. The management is pleased by your dedication and hard work to this organization. Never before have we seen an employee so dedicated, hardworking, and yet still tenacious at the same time. You have massively contributed to the growth of this company. Our sales has grown rapidly, also the financial income of the company. The company has created a new management position. And is not an open discussion. We feel the need for you to be part of the four people selected to write the management test. 
Whoever qualified gets the new office. That's all you may leave. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Anne. I know you pulled this management opportunity for me. I don't know what you are talking about. Come on, Anne. Thank you. I can't wait to share this good news with Kate. She will be so happy for me. I believe you were told is not an open discussion. I overheard you talking too much out of excitement. What you should have not shared at this moment. Rather, you should have waited for the perfect timing. God wants you to share your testimony with others. Everything is still processing. Is my friend Kate? We share everything together. Deborah, God wants us to be wise. Monitoring spirit are real. Learn to zip your mouth until things are zeal. If not, you might attract monitoring spirit and jealous spirit. Luke one verse twenty four say, after these days his wife Elizabeth conceived, and for five months she kept herself hidden, saying, Thus the Lord has done for me in the days when he looked on me to take away my reproach among people. Don't let people know your next move. Successful people keep silent. Keeping silent doesn't mean you are afraid. It only means you want to be led by the Spirit to know when you ought to reveal things. Be wise, Deborah. I will be careful next time, and see you later. Here you are in your office, and I was waiting for you to tell me why you were called to the conference room. Why were you called? Promise me you won't tell anybody. Come on, Deborah. You know I won't do that. Your secret is safe with me. Is another good news. I was called because of my hard work and growth to the company. For that, I have been selected with four others to write a management test. Whosoever qualifies get the new management office. Deborah, you have already qualified for that management position. Who can beat you? This is the hand of God. Blessings everywhere for you. Amen. Is a stream of blessings. My heart is overflow with joy. Congratulations, Deborah. I am so happy for you. I'm done for today. So we can go home together. I plan on visiting my mom. See you tomorrow. We see tomorrow then. Yeah. Bye. How can God just bless one person? One family will all those blessings. Soon their financial difficulties will be over. She will give birth to twins babies. Every good things are happening for Deborah and her husband. Look at me. My life is empty. My marriage is empty. God why me? Why is my life like this? What sin have I committed that I can't enjoy your blessings too? Maybe all these blessings are happening for Deborah because she takes her Christian life seriously. Maybe God loves her. She's special. Eee. Deborah said, "If I engage in midnight prayers, I will not have miscarriages again." Ha true. Please. How about all the prayers I have cried to God? Why am I still having miscarriages? Why is my husband and I still struggling? We have no promotion in our place of work. These difficulties has caused constant quarreling between me and my husband in our marriage. Maybe there's something to all those blessings in Deborah's lives. She's not telling me. She's pretending to care about my situation. She's mocking me. I don't believe God did all these blessings for her. I know there's more to all these. I envy Deborah. E e <laughs> Stop crying. Deborah is not your friend. She must have gone to fake spiritual churches, where this fake prophet must have invoked dark magics, which resulted in her getting pregnant. And she must have been given charms, so she and her husband will attract all sorts of favors. You have to do something now. I said it. My thoughts can't deceive me. Deborah is a deceiver. She only wants to enjoy that powerful dark magics alone. 
so she can mock me to my face. I will deal with you Deborah. If I can't find solution to my problems, you won't find solution to your own problems. A good friend will tell you the real source of her blessings. Not bragging before your face. She's mocking you. Mocking you Kate. Mocking you right to your face. I have heard of the Queen Mother, that helps women get pregnant. I heard she gives the women who comes to seek her help, herbs which help them to conceive and not have miscarriages. I know nothing is wrong with that. History is about to repeat himself again. Instead of you to wait on God in prayer, like Deborah did. You want to seek a witch like Saul. 1 Samuel 28 verse 7 says, Saul then said to his advisors, Find a woman who is a medium, so I can go and ask her what to do. His advisors replied, There is a medium at Ender. Monitoring spirit, what do you want me to do for you? Witch of the forest. Kate is coming to see you. She needs your herbs, so she won't have miscarriages again. But, I have sow a seed of jealousy in her heart. Make her problem worse. Use her to stop God's blessings in Deborah's lives. I want her to lose everything. Her testimony must not come to pass. Monitor everything. Deborah's expectations will never come to fruition. Consider it done. Tell the great queen what you want and she will do it for you. My God has forsaken me. I'm miserable in my marriage. I keep having miscarriages. But my friend Deborah, who has not been able to get pregnant for the past three years is now pregnant with twins. How husband is about to get a job at the oil and gas company. Her sister-in-law is shipping a car to her husband. And our company has enlisted her for a management position. But look at me, nothing is happening in my life. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
I will be going for another ultrasound test this Friday to see how the babies are developing. Good. What happened? Why did they change their mind? Everything seems strange to me. Yesterday, I left the office very late. I ensure my boss and all those in charge of the job appointment signed and approved your job. The letter of appointment was been typed by my boss secretary before I went home. I came this morning, everything has changed. Someone very important in the society wants the job for his nephew. I was asked to plead with you. When another job opportunity comes again, you will be number one to be employed. You mean the job is gone? I'm so sorry Elliot. I really wanted to do this for you. I feel so bad on the inside. I wish there's something else I could do. I'm so sorry. Mr. Franklin, I'm among the five enlisted to write the management test today. I'm very sorry Mrs. Deborah, your name is not on this list. Therefore, you can't write the test. Sir, you were there when the board of directors included me among the four candidates for the management test. Yes, I think they changed their mind. And your name was omitted. So you can't write the test. <laughs> What happened? I was not allowed to write the test. Why? My name was removed from the list. I'm so sorry, Deborah. This is what you were expecting to come to pass. It is well. God knows the best. Yes. What do you mean your job was given to someone else? It can't be. I don't even know what to think. My friend Paul felt so bad. He could not get me the job. How about your management test today? How did it go? I was not allowed to write the test. What's happening to us? My sister is calling me. I need to pick this call. My brother, something huge came up that requires I invest large amounts of money. Actually this is a project I have been expecting. I am so surprised it came this fast. Please bear with me. When I am done with the project I will get you the car. Please, explain to your wife so she can understand. I'm so sorry for the disappointment. Is all right my sister. I know how much you want to get me a car. I understand the whole situation at the moment. Thanks for understanding. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Why are all this happening to us? Honey, please stop crying. We can't be disadvantaged. Honey, my tummy hurts. Honey, I'm bleeding. This is an evil day, my wife. My wife, you are preserved in the name of Jesus. Babies, I keep you both alive in the name of Jesus. We are losing no pregnancy in the name of Jesus. No miscarriage. No complications. No aborted pregnancy in the name of Jesus. Darling, I'm taking you to the hospital immediately. Dr. Lee, how is my wife and her pregnancy doing? Mr. Elliot, after all diagnosed and tested has been done. The ultrasound scan detect two large fibroids in your wife womb, which is causing her pain and bleeding. I recommend surgery immediately. Some mucosal fibroid is most likely to affect a future pregnancy and your wife's ability to get pregnant. The hospital needs your consent to remove the fibroids. I'm very sorry Mr. Elliot, that the fibroids was mistaken for your wife been pregnant with twins. I don't understand. What about the babies? I'm so sorry Mr. Elliot. We taught the embryo were twins babies. It appears they are fibroids. <laughs> Are you all right, Mr. Elliot? Yes, I would like to take my wife home. It's very important she do the surgery immediately. If not, she will keep bleeding. Thank you so much for all you have done, Dr. Lee. Can I see my wife? I would like to take her home. Sure. Thank you, Doc.
Darling, you don't have any fibroids in your womb. We don't live our life by the doctor's report. What God has given to you are twins babies. Not fibroids. Therefore, no devil will steal our babies in the name of fibroids. Darling, our faith will prevail. Hebrews 11 verse 35 says, Women received their dead raised to life again, our babies are alive, we don't consider the bleeding. As we keep declaring God's word over your pregnancy, the bleeding will stop. God said, let there be light, and there was light. Therefore, no darkness is allowed in our home. We will fight the good fight of faith. We will obtain all our testimony. The devil and all his cohort of darkness will fail. Amen. No wonder Hebrews 11 verse 33 says, Who through faith subdued kingdoms, worked righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions. We are obtaining all our testimony. My faith doesn't waver. I fear no devils. Therefore, I observe no lying vanities. We are going to stop all the mouths of lions, who think they can stop our testimony. We are defeating all monitoring spirit. Now I understand, why Aunt told me monitoring spirit are real. That I should be led by the spirit to know when to say things. The wrong has been done. But we will have the victory. If God be for us, no monitoring spirit can be against us. They shall surely gather together, they shall fall for our sakes. Amen. Every weapon formed against us shall scatter. The monitoring spirit plan is to ensure those who got ordained to help us don't help us. What they don't know, our help is from God. Our promotion is from God. And they can't stop it. Amen. As for Kate, I know she's behind this. But, I feel so sorry for her. She has allowed Satan to use her as a monitoring spirit against me. Instead of her to apply the principles of God's word, which I put to work, for her own miracle. She allowed unbelief and jealousy to eat her heart, giving Satan the opportunity to use her. Is so painful she failed to make God, her all in all. Unbelief is a sin. No wonder some of the children of Israel, did not enter the promised land. I'm wise now, she will not know much about me again. Since she's carnally minded Christian. Rather, she will hear and see how God will bring all my expectations, my blessings and testimony to pass. She will come to know, those who put their trust in God, and in His Word, shall never be put to shame. Our faith will prevail. Amen. If we watch our mouth, we will not need to watch our back. Not everyone wants to see us succeed. Therefore, we must be careful who will share our goals, our dreams and testimony with. Now we know, certain things should be kept quiet until they are confirmed. For Satan moves with what he knows. Some people, carry negative atmosphere around them. You are right my love. Proverbs 13 verse 3 says, He that keepeth his mouth keepeth his life, but he that openeth wide his lips shall have destruction. From today I keep my mouth. Amen. How are you doing Deborah? I heard what happened. You were absent at work, I was wondering why. Your phone was switched off. So I came to your house. Your neighbor told me, your husband rushed you to the hospital. I feel your pain. I know how it hurt. When there is pregnancy complications, that lead to loss of pregnancy. We have to stop this nonsense. I want you know as a friend, I'm with you in all these challenges, which you and your husband are going through. Let me know your plans, so we can war together in prayers. We will surely have a testimony. Kate, my pregnancy, my husband, my life is my private life. We came here to work. So let's talk about work-related issues. Do you think they will call you for another management test position? Kate? Promotion comes only from God. Therefore, no devil can stop God's blessings in my life. Is not that I'm trying to know, all that's happening in your life. Is just that we share everything together. 
I'm only worried about you. That all. Thanks for your show of love. I have cast all my cares upon the Lord. So you don't need to worry about me. Kate, I have lots of work to do. You know I have been absent for two weeks. Please excuse me. I have to work now. Can we go home together after close of work? That won't be necessary. Queen Mother, I came to thank you for your great powers. My friend lost all her blessings and her life is miserable. <laughs> the Monitoring Spirit will be happy. You have done well Kate. What else do you want me to do against her? I want her condition to remain like this. She has to be in the same condition with me. Right now her heart is sorrowful, that's why she is avoiding me. Soon she will come around. Because, Deborah loves sharing everything. If she tells me any next blessings, I will inform you immediately. Good. Queen Mother, there's a problem. My doctor told me yesterday, after the diagnosis. It confirmed my uterine is rupture. Which is a serious complication issue. He said, is a life-threatening condition that needs immediate attention. Or the uterus has to be removed. Queen Mother, I'm so scared. You fear too much. Your womb is not damaged. What the doctor diagnosed are the herbs, which is cleaning and healing your womb. Just keep taking the concoction. Nothing will happen to you. After one year, you will get pregnant. And you can give birth to, as many children as you want. Thank you Queen Mother. I knew your words will give me peace. One month later. I have an email from Exxon Mobil Corporation. Let's me see. Oh my God. Is this for real? Glory to God. Honey, what's the excitement all about? My love, an email was sent to me, which state my appointment letter, salary and work position, from Exxon Mobil Oil and Gas Corporation, I'm to resume work first thing tomorrow morning. Glory to God. Glory to God. I have to call my friend Paul. I need to tell him the goodness. Jesus. Ten missed calls. Paul has been calling me. I believe he wants to tell me the good news. Guy, I have been calling you. Have you checked your email? Yes! Paul, I'm starting work tomorrow. I'm overwhelmed with joy. I know this is the power of God. I could not understand all that went wrong. But God gave us the victory. It was the devil. I and my wife has been praying declaring our faith. All the plans of Satan had failed. If a science 6 verse 12 says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Our fight of prayer and faith is not against human beings, who the devil is using against us, but against these wicked spirit. This monitoring spirit and we have one. This is why it's very important to pray. From the Bible, I read the victory of Nehemiah, because of his prayer life, commitment to a great cause, and unwavering focus, which gave him the courage to rebuild the wall of Jerusalem. Despite all those, who try to stop him, so he will not rebuild the walls. Yet they all failed. Congratulations Elliot, see you tomorrow at the company. Me too. Thank you so much Paul. God bless your family. Amen. Darling how do I look on my first day starting a new job? You look enthusiastic, approachable, full of smile, and on time for work. Have a great day at work. Say hello to Mr. Paul. Tell him how much I appreciate all he did for us. I'm grateful. I will. Honey your phone is ringing. Is my sister. I wanted to call you last night I was so tired. Well, I have good news. I have bought you your car, you are going to love it. Is on his way been shipped to you. I'm so glad, I was able to pull this through for you my brother. Wow who? 
Glory to God. Thank you so much my sister. You are the best. I love you. Thank you so much for this beautiful gift. God bless you. How were you able to get the money this early? I made a huge sales. With an unexpected huge profit. I knew my praying brother did not stop praying. And God has done this for you. <laughs> I refuse to allow the devil to steal our testimony. Thank you so much. My wife is happy. She is dancing. And she's grateful. I will call her later during the day. We all have to go to work now. Have a beautiful day. You too, bye. Lord Jesus, may your name be praised forevermore. You who has begun a good work in our life, you will perfect it. Amen. Good morning and you sent for me. You are needed immediately at the company headquarter to write another management test. So start going. Is this for real? Yes. See you later. Thanks, Anne. What did Anne tell you? And where are you going? She asked me to buy these items for her. At the grocery store. She will be busy at the office, she might not have the time to get them. And it's very important she gets them today. I have to hurry up. So I can be back on time. I'll see you later. Two weeks later. This can't be true. But it is true. Deborah got her testimony. All the staffs are rejoicing with her. Her new office is at the company headquarter, as the new manager in finance and logistics department. How did I not know about the management test? When did she write the test, without she telling me? Deborah is out of my life for good. I feel so disappointed and ashamed. I believe she had discovered the kind of person I am. E -e 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 -e. Seven months later. Where are you all coming from dancing and excited? Is the management aware you left your duties to God knows where? They are aware and they gave us the permission. So what is the celebration all about? Deborah has put to birth. A set of twins. Is a baby boy and a baby girl. Is it the Deborah that I know? Or another Deborah? The doctor confirmed, she had fibroids in her womb and not babies. And surgery was done. I believe she can't even get pregnant again. So when was she pregnant that she put to birth? No wonder I did not see you at the hospital. I believe Deborah has discovered the kind of person you are. Anyway, let me shock you. Deborah shared her beautiful testimony with us. How did doctor confirm there was fibroids in her womb, instead of babies? Her and her husband refused to accept the doctor's report. They hold on to their faith that their babies are not fibroids. After her baby bump started showing, they went for scan. The doctor was amazed they were babies. No fibroids, Kate. The doctor admired their faith. Knowing, if they had done the surgery, their babies would have gone for good. The doctor understood life as spiritual. So today, we are all rejoicing with Deborah. So Deborah had gotten her twins. You mean she has put to birth? Why are you acting strange? They that put their trust in God, can never be put to shame. She shared a beautiful testimony with us, that surround this testimony. Why we should be prayerful as Christians. And holding unto God in every challenges. She told us, how her husband finally got his oil and gas job. How, her sister-in-law got her husband a car. And how, she got her management position. Our faith were stir, and we gave glory to God for her life, and for that of her husband. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Go and ask Deborah to forgive you, for all the wickedness you did to her. I will Mrs. Myers. I have sinned greatly against God. I allow jealousy to destroy me. I became a monitoring spirit for Satan. The issue I'm going through now, is that the doctor said, my womb is ruptured. And I know is due to the concoction the Queen Mother is giving me to drink. Please help me Mrs. Myers. He that broke an edge the serpent will bite. Kate is time to turn back to God. Go and throw away that concoction, that the devil is using to destroy you. Get back to prayers. Get back to the word. Your faith will prevail. You will get pregnant and carry your children. God did it for Deborah and for her husband. God will do it for you and for your husband too. I will do all you said. Heavenly Father, please forgive me all my sin of wickedness. I repent today, and I rededicate my life back to you. Amen. E -e 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 -e. No no no. The end. <coughs> film by Anne. All film written by Anne. Hi my name is Anne. I believe you are inspired and blessed by this movie. Please subscribe, like, comment and share this movie with your friends and loved ones. So we can reach more people, impacting their life with this movie. Kindly watch the next movie. God bless you. How you born again? How you ready to trust Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord? Do you know Jesus? Do you want to rededicate your life to God? Do you want to experience peace in your life? You too can begin a new life with Jesus Christ today. I invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying this prayer along with me. O oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the Living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. I'm born again. Thank you Lord for saving my soul. I'm now a child of God. Hallelujah! Congratulations! You are now a child of God. To receive more information how you can grow as a child of God, please get to us through the comments section. See you in my next movie. Bye!